Welcome to our lecture online. Now going back to the question, why do we use oil drops with microscopes? And here's the second reason to increase the numerical aperture of the lens. The lens, of course, the objective lens. And again, by increasing the numerical aperture of the objective lens, we will increase the amount of light going into the microscope. And that's what it's all about, increasing the light going into the microscope. So when we take a look at something, let's call that's called the Abbey Equation. Ernst Abbey, which was a physicist in, that lived in Germany back in the 19th century, he came up with the equation that the diameter of the object that can be viewed clearly is equal to 0.5 times the wavelength of the light that's being looked at. Well, of course, in this case, it would be visible light, divided by n times the sine of theta, which, of course, is known as the numerical aperture. We can also think about numerical aperture as being d over 2f. Again. If we increase n, which is the uh, index of refraction, and in this case, by using oil, we increase the index of refraction from air being 1 to oil being 1.52, it will reduce the size of the object that we're able to clearly discern. So here you can see this would be D in the air, and there would be D in the oil. A significant 30 to 35 percent decrease in the size of the object that we can see clearly, which is what it's all about. You want to see as small an object as possible. The smaller the object you can see clearly, the better the microscope. And we can increase that by using that oil. So here, notice that D is the diameter of the object that can be resolved. We're looking for the smallest object possible that can be resolved. And as an example, let's say that we're using a wavelength of 550 nanometers, which is the average between 700 for red light and 400 for purple light. The index of refraction of the immersion oil being 1.52. Let's say the focal length of the lens is one centimeter. The diameter is equal to two centimeters. And then we plug that into our equation. 0.5 times the wavelength of light, the average wavelength, 550 nanometers, divided by 1.52 for the index of refraction of the immersion oil. And the sine of theta can be replaced by the diameter of the lens divided by twice the focal length. So the diameter was two centimeters, twice the focal length of one centimeter. Notice centimeters cancels out so we don't have to convert. And we end up with something of 181 nanometers. With other words, the size of the object that can be, the, that can be discerned, that can be clearly seen using this concept. And because we use the immersion oil, it goes all the way down to half the wavelength of purple light, which is quite amazing. You see some very small objects using that principle. So this is, of course, the ultimate goal to reach as small as object you can see as possible with the microscope. And again, using an index of refraction of the immersion oil being 1.52 greatly improves the ability to see small things. And that is the second reason why we use immersion oil.